Hey, what's going on, guys? Welcome back to NBA 2K23. Today, we are back with Friday content. Now, we only get one card with Friday content, but you could say it's a banger. And interesting tactic on how they released it. Boom, 97 small forward, power forward, Paul George. Now, he's in packs, or you could just buy Paul George. Very interesting. They've been starting to lean toward it this year. And uh, I don't know. I can't say that I hate it because it guarantees you a product. And you can get it if you want it. $50 is what it'll cost you and frankly it's drove down the market on the cost so it's helped others in achieving and getting this card without it being 2 million plus which it would have been if that wasn't available so let me know in the comments below I think it's a lot better than just hoping you pull them if you just want them you can buy them I like that option or you could roll the dice and just open up packs but let's face it you're probably not gonna pull him so i think i like it let me know in the comments below what you think about it he's 6'9 220 97 offense 99 defense he's got 12 hoffers bully fast twitch fearless finisher limitless takeoff post riser patch catch and shoot dead eye limitless range quick first step challenger clamps glove along with 30 other gold badges now my fear is that we're getting a little too advanced we're already getting every card starting to have limitless range clamps what is going to be left for the dark matters We'll see if that becomes an issue later on down the line. 91 driving layup. He's got an 89 draw fell, 92 mid-range, 93 three-pointer, 95 driving dunk. He's got 94 still, 94 perimeter, 84 interior. Pretty good rebounding in like towards the high 70s. Um, speed is going to be ra raised by my coach, so I didn't really do anything there. But I did add a plus three to acceleration and speed with ball to give them all in the mid 90s. Did want to add to stamina because Lord know that's, that's become an issue lately. And then hustle. I want him kind of jiving for the ball and stuff like that. 94 lateral quickness, 93 defensive consistency was a 90, now a 95 on offense. Ugh, it all comes down to how he moves and grooves. Let's take a look at him in the freestyle. All right, taking a look at our boy PG-13. Uh, He doesn't fill. Again, these cards are still feeling kind of sluggish. I don't know why. I don't know if it's because of the animations or what, but he doesn't feel like he's super fast and then... Okay, the jump shot feels okay, and the one spot I'm shooting at, he doesn't have a hot spot, which is the top right elbow. Um, ooh, God, I don't know about this jump shot. It is, uh, interesting to say the least. I could definitely, I mean, it feels fine here, but when he gets tired, that jump shot is going to be unusable. So you better make sure this man stays well rested. Um, I don't know, man. This is going to be a weird jump shot in the game. I can already feel it. I can kind of feel it. I'm not saying it's bad. I'm just saying it's interesting for right now. I can't really say and yell at the card until he fails me in the streets of Unlimited. But this jump shot is definitely not a Paul George jump shot that I'm used to by any means. He usually has a nice little clicky jump shot that I love so much. But this one feels more like a Paul Nittalicky kind of release. Just not on very quick. I actually don't know if his shot is on quick on this one. I would think so being a Galaxy Opal. But yeah, he's got nice. He's got good dunks. He's got everything else. I'm feeling pretty good about this card. I don't know. Will this shot be a deal breaker? Or is this the new best small forward in the game? There's only one way to find out. Let's get some gameplay. All right, here we go. We've got Galaxy Opal Paul George in November. Good God. Let's see what he's all about. Right now, get in there. They are less. I forgot his name. DeJounte Murray. That's his name. Ricky, where are we looking? We're looking over to Paul George. PG-24. I thought it was 13. Oh, my God. He just sent James Worthy into the freaking bleachers. All right, let's go. Let's go. Let's see where we're at. Oh, there's Ricky Davis. Ricky! Damn it, man. I wanted one right there. Give me that right there. Give me that. Stop it. Pop it. Put it in our pocket. Limitless range. Yes, sir. All right, let's go. Let's go. James Harden trying to guard DeJounte Murray is pretty cute. I'm not going to lie. It's adorable. Ricky Davis, where are we looking? In the Carl Anthony Towns. Beasting and beasting. Who is that shrimp out there? Fall down. I don't know. I can't get to seem to get him to get the ball, so I guess we'll go right against James Worthy going all the way around. No one's stopping him. Down. There we go. Where's Paul George at? There we go. We're throwing up to Paul George. I'm stopping. Look over. Damn it. Right there. Throw it up to Paul George. Paul George. Stop. Never mind. Throw it up to Carl Anthony Towns. Beasted it. Beasted. James Worthy. Isn't that nice? Um, let's see if I can get a screen right here by Paul George. I bet I could. Oh, stay out there. Hey, stay out there. There's Paul George, baby. Four, three, two, one. No foul. Of course not. Why the fuck wouldn't there be? 
Start of the second quarter. Paul George is absolutely killing it, but god damn, dude. My guy that I'm playing against getting bailed out by James Worthy, Reggie Miller style over here. Sucks dong. Okay. All right. Jones? Who is Eddie Jones? Eddie Jones, who are you, huh? Oh, okay. Uh, that's fine. Oh, there's Paul George for three. Man, yes, Paul George. Go ahead and take that, Ricky Davis. Go ahead and throw it up to Paul George. Get in there. Told you. Point of jumping, huh? What is the point of jumping? It doesn't do nothing. You don't get nothing from it. Get in there. Poor Zingus. Run in, big old doggy. All right, let's go up with Paul George here. Where are we at, huh? Can I go right around him? I might be able to. What are you jumping for? Let's go, PG. Let's run it up, run it up, run it up. Um, going right into Carl Anthony Towns, beasted it, beasted. Freaking white ass Kevin McHale, get the hell out of here. All right, let's go. Got a young DeJounte out here against James Harden. He's not gonna guard me. He's not doing nothing. He's freaking invisible. And in jumping, there's no defense in the jump. There just isn't. Get in there, Ricky. De oh, but there's defense there. Oh no, he was wide on me and he still got the freaking wide open screen. Are you kidding me? I'm freaking Porzingis. Out there to Paul George. Let's see if I can get one right here. Can I? Coming all the way in for a layup. But hey, two points is two points. No matter how you put it in. Because no matter what, they're getting three points no matter what. The foul just drives me more nuts out of anything. Get in there. Oh, J.R. Smith. There is no defense in this game. And it's freaking... And you guys, everyone always asks me, why are you using DeAndre Jordan? That's why right there. And there's why I use Kawhi Leonard as well. Right there by freaking DeAndre Jordan. Let's run it down. Kawhi Leonard. Oh, I'm going out there. J.R. Schmitty. Two, one. At the buzzer. Doesn't count. Of course it doesn't. Could you jump slower, DJ, please? Part of the third quarter. I mean, for a My Team logo user, again, did pretty good. I mean, we're up 13. All we got to do is not blow it, which is not usually my strong suit, but it's been getting better, so we might be okay. Let's shut up and just play. Time this guy drives to the basket. This man gets a fucking foul. It's going to drive me nuts. Get out of here. Get out of the way. Get everyone out of the way the freaking foul that's why he keeps driving like that it's driving me nuts throw it over there to porzingis oh he blew right by that indeed good steal or i don't know who ripped it but paul george picked it up and we're going all the way in for a layup wow a foul for us is this is this real life over me no way throw it up to Dejounte. we're throwing out to a young ricky hey, 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 hey. i can already tell it was going in Dejounte, throw it out to ricky hey, 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 hey. I like throwing that little chuckle in there with his name. That might be his new thing. Back over there. Back over there. Can I get a screen? Might be able to get one right there by DeJounte. <laughs> oh, man. The fact that my point guard set screens is it's comical. Wait. Get that rebound. There we go. Um, throwing up to DeJounte. Throw it out to Paul George. Stop it. Pop it. Put it in our pocket. <laughs> I do like his jump shot. I take it back. Ricky with the deep limitless real quick. Let me hit him with the deep one. The deep <laughs> Oh, shit. Oh, that was half court. Paul Towns, we're throwing it up to Paul George. Can we hit a limitless range? No, nope, not with him. How about poor Z Oh, my God. Will this guy get out of here? You're embarrassing the My Team logo. He's starting to come back. He's almost within 20 again. So, I don't know how this guy. This guy's playing, too, man. He's playing. Hey, guys. Need cheap MT? Check out A6K.com. They're safe. They're reliable. And with my code Richie at checkout, you can get 5% off. Go get the cards you really want. Start of the fourth quarter, I mean, we're just getting used to these logo whoopings, I guess. I guess the guys with the logo just play a lot of MT. I don't know where it means on the leaderboard, but every guy that's had the My Team logo, I've been whooping. I've been whooping like a French pig. Actually, the last guy I didn't. I don't know if I whooped him, but this guy, I don't know how he got his logo, huh? You boosting? All right, throw it up, JR Swish. Don't give me that limitless range, bitch. All right, good rebound right there by Kawhi Leonard, our new four at the moment. Oh, up to Porzingis, beasting and beasting. Oh, snooze fest right now. All right, good rebound right there. I need to get Paul George back in. How about JR give him another sample of that limitless? George back in, because Lord knows we weren't getting any freaking fouls. So throw it over there, throw it up there, back to Ricky. Throw it over to Paul George. Let's see if I can get one right there by young Rickster. I do, and he gets in. Oh, and one. Woo! Good rebound right there by DeAndre Jordan. Throw it back out to Paul George. Limitless range. Yes, I, oh, dude. This card is nutty. Stop. Stop. He's already dead.
dead. All right, do we get a cherry on top? Cherry on top. Holy shit. All right, guys, that is going to be the gameplay with Paul George. Uh, 35 points, one rebound, three assists, one steal, 13 of 15, six of eight. Guys, I am happy to inform that his jump shot was not a problem like I thought it might be. Pretty quick, other than when he gets tired, you know, you get that longer release once their stamina starts to kick in. Yeah, uh, I like this card a lot. I definitely think he could be top tier, small forward. I think probably the second best in the game. I still think Tim Thomas would be probably everyone's go-to in being the best just based off release, size, all the intangibles that goes along with that card. But this card right here is next up for me personally. Now, could you get a badged out LeBron, like a soup du jour, like a souped up LeBron and maybe surpass this card? Maybe, but at the same time, this card has the limitless range that I love so much. And he drills them. If you didn't see it, guys, I'm not gonna lie. This guy was a My Team logo holder, not a bot. He was playing. I just think he got to a point where he was like, screw this, I'm gonna take my loser points and just kind of gave up. Like, I, I, don't, I don't know. I think he gave up like mid third quarter. It was just lights out. And that just seems to be running trend. You know, I'm the best there is. Bar none, make these cards look like freaking magic. Just kidding. You know what I am. You know what it is. You know what it is. All right, guys, that is going to be the gameplay with Paul George. 35 points, one rebound, three assists, one steal, 13 of 15, six of eight. Efficient as hell. Guys, I am pleased to inform you my suspicions of the release being bad was not so bad. Now, was my opponent bad? That's up for debate because he had the My Team logo and his record was decent it was like 117 and 37 losses so it was a good record he wasn't a bot or anything i think he just got demoralized by all the limitless range the paul george just a little bit of everything the funny thing is is right now i did a little bit of selling and we're moving the team around i only have two pink diamonds on my team and paul george and ricky davis the rest i'm running a bunch of little shitty diamonds dejounte murray jr smith porzingis uh like i'm just running a good team at all and we beat a My Team logo user, so very, very interesting. I mean, it seems to be a running theme, me beating these top tier unlimited guys. And frankly, that's all they're matching me up against these days is just the unlimited logo guys. Where's my logo, huh? If I keep beating them, don't I deserve one? Feel like I should. Let me know in the comments below. But other than that, guys, Paul George is definitely a top tier small forward. Now, is he the best of the best? No, I still think Tim Thomas is got the best in Reims and wears the crown. Um, just based off the release, the size, the intangibles that go along with this card. But this card's the next up. Now, could you get a LeBron that's super badged out and rival this card? Probably, but he still can't get limitless. And that's where I love this card. If you know me and see my gameplays, I shoot limitless range, bitch. I shoot them deep down in there, baby. Deep down on the way other side, right as I cross half court sometimes. And we get that shit to go in too. So I like that badge a lot to me. That really kind of like would take out any consideration for a LeBron, at least for me, just because he's got everything else. He's got the clamps. He's got the, he's got the other badges that I want. So to me, this is the second best for me. Now, if it's different for you, then that's fine. Hey, it's your life. Live your best. But for me and the way I feel, this is the next best one. And thankfully, due to that $50 promo, he doesn't cost over a million. So while it sucks, it doesn't. So it kind of works out for everybody. People that want to buy him can buy him. And if you want to see if he tanks on the market, you can play that game. So and I, I I don't think it's a terrible method. Now, could I, do I wish there was a free challenge for him? Sure. But 2K is not a nonprofit organization. So quit acting like they are and quit wishing and dreaming. They never have been. They never will be. So why you guys keep thinking they do it towards the end of the year, but that ain't this. And I'm okay with this for now. It could have been worse, much, much worse. It could have been a hundred dollars. Granted, I, I guarantee if it was a hundred dollars, people still would have done it. I guarantee you that. So just thank God it wasn't a hundred dollars. So other than that, guys, I like it. You got a ring of endorsement, a Richie stamp of approval on this one. I'm giving them a solid nine. Yeah, I'm still going to go with the nine because his strength is a 70 and I just I'm still not getting that girth, you know, that cushion for the pushing like that Clay Thompson gives, you know, but I still like him. He still gets my approval and I think he's the second best small forward in the game. So suck on that one for a while. Let it, let it 
tingle the senses, if you will. But other than that, I've talked way too much. I've got to go. Great victory right here. I love you all. We'll see you on the next one with Porzingis. Richie Nation. Party on.